When President Obama was making the case for health care reform, he made several promises. He said you'd be able to keep the plan you have if you like it. He said you'd be able to keep your doctor if you like your doctor. And he promised that health care costs would go down. And there was another promise that was sort of implicit. He implied that in the new health insurance exchanges, the kind of insurance that would be sold there would look very much like the kind of insurance that employers provide for their employees. Now, none of those promises have been kept. And in fact, at the time they were being made, people in the White House knew that you weren't going to be able to keep your health plan and maybe not be able to keep your doctor. The health insurance companies for sure knew it because they were encouraged in the health insurance they were selling in the individual market and move everybody over to the exchange. So some of the victims of Obamacare are now finding that they don't have the networks they used to have. They're paying premiums that are three or four times what they used to pay. Uh, one of the early victims was a woman who had um, a very rare form of cancer that's almost always fatal, yet she was still alive. She was getting special treatment at Stanford and at MD Anderson Houston. But then she discovered after she lost that plan, had to go into the California exchange, that not a single plan in that exchange covered Stanford or MD Anderson. And we're finding this all over the country. In Dallas, Texas, where I live, there is not a single plan that includes UT Southwestern, which is our premier uh, medical center, or Children's Medical Center, which is equally renowned for care for children. So what we're finding is high premiums, higher than anyone expected, low quality, and by that I mean plans that leave out the best doctors and the best hospitals, and we're finding that people can't get the care they need. They're being surprised that they have to pay thousands of dollars for life-saving drugs, they're being surprised by the fact that the best specialist is not available to them. Or if a specialist is available, they may have to go to the next state to find that specialist. And then we have a group of people who are low-income people working for the fast food restaurants, for the hotels, making $15, $20 an hour. What Obamacare tries to do is force the employers to provide very expensive health insurance, but unlike the exchange, there are no new subsidies for those employers or those employees. So here's what they're doing. Uh, all across the country, the fast food restaurants are saying to their employees, you can have a bronze plan. It has a $6,000 deductible. You have to pay a premium equal to 9.5% of your wages. And if you want to cover your family members, you have to pay 100% of the premium for them. Obamacare allows this, this kind of offer. Uh, now guess what, only 1% of the employees are taking up the offer. These people are by and large young and healthy, they don't have many medical bills, and a $6,000 deductible to them is like not having health insurance at all. Um, so they've been given an offer, uh, they turn it down. Now it's an offer that meets the minimum requirements of Obamacare, so under the law, this offer is considered affordable, even though none of the employees themselves consider it affordable. Now, having turned down this offer, they are not allowed to go into the exchange where people at the same income level that they are, are getting health plans that cost 10, 11, $12,000 a year, and the government's paying almost all of it. These people are not allowed to go into the exchange and get that plan, and to make matters worse, next April 15th, they face the prospect of being fined because they are uninsured. These are just some of the victims of Obamacare. And we believe these victims can be rescued. They can be rescued with an alternative to Obamacare, which really does lower costs, which really does increase quality, which has a real marketplace in which insurers are not running away from sick people, but instead try to attract the heart patients, the cancer patients, and people with real medical problems. A market in which centers of excellence emerge in which they um, uh, specialize in the treatment of certain conditions and they get really good at it. And that's the kind of market that we ought to have in healthcare, but we're never gonna get that the way we're doing things now under Obamacare.